the Chinese Revolution. They wanted land. They threw the British out, along with the Uncle Tom Chinese. Yeah, they did. They set a good example. When I was in prison, I read an article in, don't be shocked when I say I was in prison, you're still in prison. <laughs> That's what America means, prison. When I was in prison, I read an article in Life magazine showing a little Chinese girl, nine years old. Her father was on his hands and knees and she was pulling the trigger because he was an Uncle Tom Chinaman. Yeah. When they had the revolution over there, they took a whole generation of Uncle Toms, right. just wiped them out. Yeah, right. And within 10 years, that little girl became a full-grown woman. No more Toms in China. <laughs> and today, today it's one of the toughest, roughest, most feared countries on this earth by the white man, because there are no Uncle Toms over there. <laughs> Of all our studies, history is best qualified to reward all research. And when you see that you got problems, all you have to do is examine the historic method used all over the world by others who had problems similar to yours. And once you see how they got theirs straight, then you know how you can get yours straight.